Hi guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video for you, and today we are unboxing the new, brand new, Deep Cool Castle 240 RGB liquid cooler, also available in 280 models, but when I say available, at the time of making this video, it's not available to purchase yet. Um, this cooler is coming out at the end of the month, so I'm really happy, you know, it's my first, it's not out yet, product review. Um, so we're gonna do an unboxing today and a light test, and then I'll come with a full review in the next couple of days. So as you can see, it says on the box, 240mm water cooler. You can see the pump block there, which we're going to have a look at as well. And you can see lots of different colour of RGB. And that's because these are addressable RGBs. 5 volt addressable RGBs. You also have RGB sinks for your motherboard um, included as well. So we'll talk about the support for that in a minute as well. Um, it's got an RGB cooler, which is great because I haven't been able to get a motherboard out in time that can support 5 volt RGBs. Um, and also it does Intel 2066, that's their high-end desktop platform, um, does all your standard 11.5 series, um, AMD TR4, oh, wicked, Fred Ripper, and AM4 support as well. Moving on to the side of the box there, you know, we just got not a lot going on, got the logo, it's on the bottom of the box, same as what we've seen just a second ago, got a picture of the cooler here, comes with RGB fans as well, then there's just all the specs as well few other bits and bobs about it you can see the pump block looks pretty huge double-sided it's got a double side mirror effect immersive ambient lighting design to provide a perfect display for aesthetic illumination oh that sounds fancy um, one thing as well with this the pump is slightly faster I think on all the other deep cool coolers the pumps just over 2000 rpm this one's kicking in at about 2500 rpm slightly improved pump design as well so We'll put the cooler to one side. You know we saved the best till last. It's best till last. I'll look at that in a second. What else do we get in here then? So I take it these are the fans. So I've just uploaded a video of these fans if you want to see them in a little bit more detail. So these are the CF120s, although these ones are slightly different. They run at slightly higher RPMs, up to 1800 RPM instead of 1500. And one thing I've just noticed straight away, the RF120s and CF20s are exactly the same. Look, we've got the gray there and black there. Now, I know this helps you figure out the difference between each fan. They've got different logos on as well. But, personal, personally, I would have liked these all to be black, just so it matches all the other deep cool fans that you're gonna pair it with. So you get two of these 120 millimeter fans. There are four fan PWM and then you have your free fan RGB cable. Now the RF120s are braided, the new CF120s aren't braided and I forgot to mention that in my video the other day. Got so much junk to the side of me here now. It's just mounting kits for so much stuff and this is gonna be mounting kits, isn't it? So, instruction manual, huge, huge, Fred, I wonder how Fred Ripper goes on. Ah, let's see. So there's Fred, Rip, Fred Ripper. Just mounts directly straight on top. That's looking like it's... I don't know if that's just because they pictured wrong. That's looking like it covers most of the socket. I think they've put a bigger um, block on this. What else have we got? So, this is a personal favourite of mine. Set it in every video. You get a four-fan PWM splitter. And there's a little sticky thing in the back for this see that four fan PWM splitter really nice they always include this with all their coolers I've got freaking hundreds of these now it's got a sticker as well so you can stick it onto the back of your case you've also got a four pin PWM extension as well then in here we have all of the brackets so they generally use a multi bracket so you have Intel on see that Intel on one side AMD on another, then you have all your Intel and AMD brackets. So for your high-end desktop platforms, you use like smaller pins, and they just go in. And then what else have we got in here? So in the bag as well, there's loads of other screws. You've got all your radio ma radiator mounting screws. There isn't enough screws for push-pull, so if you wanted to do push-pull, you'll have to order some more radiator screws, but you can get them off of eBay, they're really cheap. And there's a finger thermal paste as well. So, okay, so for RGB, you have a few options. First is the built-in controller. 
plus and minus just cycles up and down the effects you can go backwards and forwards and the middle button just does the speed and if you hold it it turns it off you can see we've got the free pin that they connect to there and then it just powers off a SATA power cable always find this one hard to shoot on the camera yeah SATA power cable and that's what I'm going to be using for the video but if you want to sync it up to your motherboard there's actually two options and this is one thing that I was really happy with when I unboxed these CF 120s now with RGB you're used to the 4 pin yeah 4 pin layout 12 volt RGB now these are 5 volt RGB and different companies are using different headers so for Asus for example see this Asus use a 4 pin width but one pin is missing and I also think this is the same for MSI as well quote me if I'm wrong in the description but that's what they use for addressable RGBs so most addressable stuff that you buy only comes with that cable gigabyte use a slightly different cable as you can see here it's like a just a free pin so they give you both cables and that's really good really happy with the extras and what's even better as well because you'll notice on the controller we only had input for one as you can see here this is an extension cable for hooking up all your RGB fans and it's got room for four fans on it and you think oh yeah that's just so I can put one on it but what you can actually do is daisy chain these cables together so the triple pack CF120s come with one of these as well and that's where a lot of you were asking me how are you linking up all your RF120s on one header and that is because they come with these cables I don't think they come with the single fan packs but if you buy the triple packs or the coolers you get this nice splitter so you can hook up shit loads of fans so as you can see with the um, braided tubing here with the size of it it's not very long I said this with the deep cool castle now it's going to be perfect in the front of like a mid tower case like NZX TS340s your Fantex P series but if you go in full tower, it needs to be mounted in the top. You're gonna have to mount it top mounted, yeah? Because you just haven't got enough tubing left. And I just wish the tubes were a little bit longer. I did say in, my, um, deep, in the Deep Cool Captain video that I don't like NZXT coolers because I think their tubing's too long. These are just a little too short. So as you can see here, look, that is a huge, huge pump block. Look at the size of it. It's not quite a coke can, but it's almost there. Now underneath, as you can see, uh, it's a bit bigger. You see with a lot of them, you normally just get a circle here. So you've got the square there. You know, Fred Ripper, I'd probably go for the 280 version or buy a dedicated Fred Ripper cooler, but it's definitely a bigger, you know, it's quite a big base plate. If you want to, if you get a coke can, if you want to know how big that base plate is if you have got a bigger cpu yeah it's quite a nice big base plate silver finish no news if they're going to make a white version yeah i hope they do this is going to all light up as well and you've got free pin free pin power free pin and here you can see it with the fans on looking good bright mirrory block you're going to see it all lit up in a second as for the radiator as well like we said 240 two 120 fans is going to be an aluminium radiator at this price and you can see it's absolutely packed with fins as well completely packed out with fins so let's have a look at the lights 